A mission statement from a creative agency. Ready for this? This is from an agency. This is from an agency, a creative agency. To architect a revolutionary spectrum of typographic excellence, pioneering the synthesis of letter form and white space to orchestrate unparalleled visual harmonies that resonate with zeitgeist. Oh, like they had to go. What the hell does it even fucking mean? You're listening to The Angry Designer, where we cut through the industry bull to help frustrated graphic designers survive and thrive. Yes, sir. Yes, guy. So what's going on, man? Oh, not a whole lot, you know. Just it's been uh, a busy week. Living the dream. It has been a busy week, yes. Living the dream. Yeah, it does feel the dream. like it's been, <laughs> totally. you know. Yes. I, despite the fact that I've been a little under the weather the past couple of weeks, it's yep. I also feel other, other parts of me are starting to get right back into this mm-hmm. like i'm you know getting a little bit more i'm picking up that phone again i'm reconnecting Ooh. with so i have been nice. you know we've got a couple new projects coming down the pipeline now that you know otherwise you know we probably wouldn't have had if, if mm. it wasn't um I, I'm, I'm starting to feel that itch again oh. which is cool it's cool right it's good and that's not because of you know it's not a flare-up or anything like that is it no no <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine no no not at all <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 you know what? Yeah. I don't. It, it's like you know. I, I started getting back into this and enjoying this, and I think it's just you know, like for a little while, I was in. A, I got busy and caught yeah. up with a lot of things, but it's it's easy to kind of you know yeah. get back to the place you love. Oh, totally, yeah. And that's the thing. It's like it's hard. Yeah. I know because you, there's a lot of responsibility at the top. There is, there is, right? So you've got other things. You, you know, it's not like it's not like us in the bullpen where we're pure design. I know you guys can like sing <laughs> songs. Yeah. Let's talk about movies, exactly. do trivia. Yes, maybe do, work a little bit. Work, you know, fifty fifty, a little bit, a little bit. But it's it's true. Yeah. I, a couple of days ago, I did I I did a design job that I struggled at first with because I've been out of the loop for a mm-hmm. little bit. But you know, afterwards, I got into the groove. Second, thirds, variations came easy. Like it was, um, you know, it feels good. It does yeah. feel good to come back. I totally. do. I, I love that, and I, I love this industry. I love this space. And again, we were going to talk about some other fiery topics. You yes. know, today. We had some of the stuff lined up, <laughs> but in the end, it was just like you know, I could talk about this stuff, yeah. but you know, I I really wanted to talk about something that I was a lot more passionate about mm-hmm. um, instead of just rant on about stuff that always pisses me <laughs> off anyway. <laughs> and you know, I wanted to lean back to that, and yeah. and I don't know, it was just you know, we kind of went back to think about like the game changing things for this company, yeah. And I was like, holy shit, dude, you know, I I love this space, but. You know, you're always like, you know, trying to figure out what it is to take you to that next level, right? you know, and, and, and what it is to bring it all together. And, you know, you talk to business coaches or you meet all these people who try to sell you their programs and, and often they try to feed you this same bullshit, you know, well, first you have to come up with a mission statement mm-hmm. and, and then yeah. a vision statement. And yeah. man, these fucking people, they really buy into this shit, dude. Big time. Like it, it drives me. And again, I would try to struggle to come up with these things, mm. but it never felt right. Cause yeah. it was always Bullshit. Fake. It was so fucking yes. fake, right? And nine times out of ten, I worked at this place and they had this fucking this mission statement yep. and it was all yep. buzzwords mm-hmm. and you're just like, it doesn't make any sense. To me, it looked like a run on sentence. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Dude, <laughs> I found one today. I found one, okay? Oh. From a, a mission statement from a creative agency. Ready for this? This is from an agency. This is from an ag- a creative agency. To architect a revolutionary spectrum of typographic excellence. Excellence, pioneering the synthesis of letter form and white space to orchestrate unparalleled visual harmonies that resonate with zeitgeist. Oh, like they had to go. What the hell does it even fucking mean? But this is the kind of shit that you would hear people tell you: you have to do. You want to take your business to the next level. Yeah. You gotta. You gotta come up with this mission statement. And I struggled with this. Um, and you know, I, I did genuinely feel like I was stuck. Yeah. Okay. You know, cause then at this point it was like 15 years in business and I'm like, look, I know what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. You know, we've got this way of doing things. We got this, we got this, but every time I hit this mission statement, I was like, well, apparently <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not destined to fucking to make this. And, um, you know, in, in the end, I, I found this thing 
that made a huge fucking difference. Mm. This was what worked for us. Right. Okay. And it was called a tenant. Oh, okay. Okay. So somebody, somebody who lives in your, uh, in, your <laughs> in your back room. Not a tenant. <laughs> oh, oh, not a tenant. <laughs> not a oh. squatter. <laughs> No, like and it, it's a tenant, right? Oh. And it's basically um, a specific set of beliefs or a way of doing things, you know, that are held true by, you know, an organization, a group of people, a brand in our case. Oh, okay. Okay. So mm. totally fucking different than mission statement because this, that's all bullshit. Yes. It is. That's all lofty, high level stuff. It doesn't really say anything. They, people, you know, they say you, you put out these vision statements that gives you something to shoot for. Mm. She's like, dude. I don't need something to shoot for. I already know what I'm doing. I just, I need a rule and guidelines on how to actually do this fucking shit. Right. And that's why this resonated with me so well. Okay. So again, they're tenants, right? T E N E T, right? Cool. Not principles. Okay. Okay. They're no. not principles. Really, they're not principles because okay. principles, they're universal. They're more broad, right? Oh. They can be applied more, you know, generically. Okay. So whereas a tenant is more specific, very specific, okay. right? It's, it's a specific way of, you know, how to do things, right? Gotcha. It's not ethos. Oh, it's not an ethos. It's not an ethos. Ah. And again, that's too bad because I always thought ethos was a cool word. Oh, yeah, it was, totally. It was cool. and, but the thing is, the difference is ethos is more characteristic, more spiritual type stuff, right? More kind of like Bruce you, Lee. <laughs> like Bruce Lee, right? right? It's moral. It's yeah. guiding behaviors, uh, okay? okay? That's what an ethos is, which is similar, but still not quite rules. Right. And then, and then values is another one, right? Not necessarily values. Values are like core beliefs, uh. okay? Values are standards, and, and they help you guide behavior. So it's not really any one of these. Tenets are more or less your a specific way of thinking and doing, hmm. which sounds a little cult-like. <laughs> okay, it does, and I recognize this, you know, which is why as of tomorrow, we are the cult of Zen Factor. No, but I mean, it's I already like... already got a shaved head, so <laughs> I'm halfway, halfway there. there. <laughs> now you're going to have to tattoo that bad boy, okay? But I mean, it's it's their 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 way of thinking and doing, right? It's 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 used to outline, you know, clear actions, mm-hmm. you know, to guide actions, to help make decisions, mm-hmm. which is different, right? Because it's like almost like goalposts, right? They they inform how you operate, how to make a decision, how you present yourself to the world, right? It's very specific, and oftentimes it's it's based on past experiences, mm-hmm. based on past successes. It could even be based on like a rule book, believe it or not, right? Oh. Somebody could actually sell, you know, uh, your tenant's guide of how to do this or how to do that, right? Okay. It's, they're different in the sense, you know, of anything else because they actually give us something to refer to on a daily working basis. And mm. I know it sounds a little weird and it sounds like a little business coachy, but that's totally not the point of this. These were what was that game changer that we needed, right. okay, to help identify who we were. Like, you know, often when you go through business, everybody's always, you know, you hear this, uh, it's like a fog, and you're trying to try to see through this fog. You're trying yeah. to get a clear sight. Yeah. That's what these did. Yeah. Because we already had the answers. It's just they didn't live anywhere because they, they couldn't live in a mission statement. They, right. And they couldn't live in this vision statement. But when you're able to put these these tenets out there and, and it's something that you can look and follow and use as reference, mm-hmm. it's a complete game changer for the company. And it really did. It changed not only my belief, but everybody else who worked together was able to, you know, come around these things, right? And actually, we had a direction. We yeah, had a yes. common direction, right. which is what propelled us. We had more growth in five years than we had in 15 yeah. combined, yeah. right? So definitely going to, okay, we're definitely going to share our tenants. Yes. Okay, and there's 13 in total. Which we'll is great. We'll, yeah. we'll definitely talk about this and be like, what the hell is this guy even fucking talking about? <laughs> and then we are going to finish off with how you guys can actually do this for yourselves, okay? Yeah. But I mean, you know, I, I just want to talk about why these worked for us right. okay these rules these set of beliefs this guiding you know um this this guiding vision not even vision you gotta be yeah. careful how you use it i was just gonna say like i want to say principles but it's not it's it's, it's it not is, a but principle. it's not maybe yeah. it's very niche principles for us tenets. right, right. Yeah. but they are and it, it is a legitimate thing right yeah. yes. so you know number one it worked for us because it 
clearly helped define our brand. Right. First and foremost, right? We always had a very unique way of doing things. Mm -hmm. We had a unique style, okay? And again, our style, just like our podcast, wasn't for everybody, mm -hmm. okay? But it was our style. We owned it. It was very different. And if somebody wanted that look, that feel, that that energy, they would come to us for right. that, okay? Yeah. Um, you know, it was, it was a specific way in how we worked, right? So it really did help define our brand. And day and fucking night it mm. differentiated us from our customer or yes. our, our competitors 100 yeah, yeah. right because yeah. yeah. my goal was to elevate ourselves to another level so we didn't have competitors right. and yeah. those helped us clear as day so that's why it's like you know people are like well who are your competitors and i'm like well in this town we didn't have one yeah there were other agencies there's mm -hmm. 20 30 other shops yeah but none of them were our competitors yeah big difference right yeah they nice. um they helped guide our decision making, mm. okay, and that was massive, right? Because again, it's it's kind of like they acted as this higher level creative director for everybody, right? We had a rule book on on what we believed, how we created things, mm -hmm. right? How the, how those things were created, what was in those things, you know, and this worked both in our design work, but even how we conducted ourselves in business, mm. okay? Because again, it helped the decision making across the board, right? Uh, cool. um, cohesive and consistency. Okay, so again, if you're a freelancer, maybe that would help a little bit in mm. the sense of it would keep you committed to your style and your way of doing things. But when you start getting a bigger team, okay, mm. the, what happens is you start getting superstars, you start getting juniors versus seniors. Yeah. Somebody likes to do things like this, somebody likes to do things like that. And right. you saw that happen. Mm. We, had, we would have some people come in here way, way back. Mm. They wanted to do things their own way. That's and it was just right. like, dude, that's that's not yeah. how it's done yes. here. Yes. Um, and we didn't have a clear way of saying why mm -hmm. until we had these in place, right. right? All of a sudden it became clear as fucking day. And whether it was you or one of the juniors cranking stuff out, it had the same look, the same feel, the intensity city it had what the customer was looking for so it was very much it, it kept this whole you know cohesiveness about you know what z factor was producing yeah um i don't know over and over and over and over again yeah. which is amazing yeah and of course last but not least um enhanced team dynamic it helped us create a community here because mm. everybody we'd hire we would go and walk through the tenants with right. right we would be like this is what we mean about this this is our belief about this this is how we go about this yeah it made them realize that this is how things are done at this place. Right. If they didn't like it, bail. That's fine. Yeah. But the thing is, it made things really clear what the expectations mm -hmm. were, right? And it really gave everybody something to shoot for. Yeah. So it really did bring everything together. So although you know everybody was individual and unique and had their own way of approaching design problem, right. we had these tenets to follow right. to be like, hey, you bring what you got to bring because it forces yeah. people to be creative. Right. But make sure but keep you this in mind. Keep all these because yeah. these are. The the most important things for us right. and honestly it was it, it it sounds ridiculous but it just felt like it was that missing piece that i've been looking for all these years to help clearly see our future and it did it propelled us like just so far ahead of where we ever were it was just yeah. i wish i would have found these like 15 years earlier but so did you reverse engineer these then kind of thing like that you've operated under these principles yeah. And then just kind of we're like, okay, these are the elements that kind of how we're rolling here. And that's it's kind of cringy in the sense that it 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 can kind of almost, you know, be based on a single person's beliefs. Right. Okay. Yeah. But as creative director, right. I would push those beliefs on the team as well. Yes. The exactly. agency would be, you know, reflective yeah. of, of sadly, you know, the, the the creative director's vision, the you know, the company's vision, our brand's vision. Right. So we had all these elements in place. It was just a matter of finally realizing yes. what they all were together right right and that's and that's the thing it was like we were always looking for that one thing to bring all of our company together our right. beliefs how we win i mean dude i don't i don't know if you remember this but like 20 years ago mm -hmm. okay you were driving in kitchener somewhere mm -hmm. and you saw this random car sign at the side of the road and it was unlike anything else back then because it was big it was bold it was in your face it had a car and you were like that has to be Zed Factors. Oh, and yes. you told Nico yes. that. You did, yes, right? I remember that. And it was just like without even <laughs> knowing, you looked at it and you're like, clear as day, that has to be yes. theirs. Yes. And sure enough, it's like you called it Nico's is. like, holy shit, you <laughs> you you gotta hear this. Right? And it was it's it's that, right? Yeah. We always had yes. that. Yes, but I it's remember like that we've now. never pulled that together right. into like a, a guidebook. Right. Right. And that's what this did. This that's what this did, right? Yeah. Like this is what felt right for us. Mm. 
Okay. And that's why it worked for us and it did help put some standardization, some process in how we went about things. Yeah. And we always had these things in place now. And it really did take us to that next level. So, okay. Let, let's just go into, and I mean, this is okay. going to be pretty silly, right? Because when we start talking about these, you guys are going to be like, well, yeah, oh, duh. Yeah, why see. wouldn't I you see. do that? Right. right. But the thing is, when you actually put them out there, mm -hmm. right, and you have them in the order that we do, and you have them as a belief system, and you're constantly reminding yourself, it's almost like having this this subconscious checkbox yes. of, yep, 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 this is how I'm doing it, this is how I'm doing it, right? right? So not only did we create all 13 of these, but then we also printed them out on skateboards <laughs> and we have them on our wall in well, behind you, Sean. You can if, see over if my you're shoulder. On the YouTube. Yeah, those yeah. are our principles. Yes. Those, those are no tenants. Or tenants. tenants. Sorry, tenants. <laughs> see, I won't I go know. with principles. I know, and, and I that's know. That's not right. Um, well, because, <laughs> and again, Principles are generic. Yes. These are very these are specific for how very specific. we go about things. And that's that's, right. that's why they're similar. Yeah. But tenants are just niche. And yeah. we're a niche agency, so that's, that's that's what we do. Yeah. But what we did is down the main hall where everybody walks by to from the kitchen, the bathroom, the front mm -hmm. door, the back door, we put them all on skateboards. We all gave them their own look, their own feel to emphasize that tenant. Mm -hmm. And and again, it's like everybody's just, just being exposed to these on a regular yep. basis. You right? see it all the time. All the time, you're, right? You're walking by. So yeah. it's it's constantly there, right? Yeah. And this kind of goes back to that community, you know, that subconscious. This this is kind of like this is what we stand for, what we do, and how we go about things. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So we've got 13 in total, 10 are design, three are process, okay, and what yeah. we believe, okay? So um, in order, okay, tenant number one, tenant okay? Tenant number one, okay. Start at the end, okay? <laughs> Every project that Love we that do, yeah. we start at the end first. And what I mean by that is we first try to define what the desired outcome is yeah. of that project. If mm -hmm. it's a landing page, then it's to have somebody fill out that form. Right. If it's um, you know, if it's an ad, then it's to go visit a certain page. If it's the side of a car, it's to you know grab attention. Have if it's at a trade show booth, it's to visit a trade show booth. Mm -hmm. Okay, we always start at the end to try to figure out what that desired outcome is. Yeah. Right, and then we build backwards, right? So we know if this is what we want them to do, we got to remember that, and then we build towards that goal. So yeah. every single every single thing we do, every answer from that point forward during the design process is based on that desired outcome. Yes. Okay. So number one, nice. number two, form follows function. Ooh. So this is one that everybody goes on about all the time, mm -hmm. right? And I mean, this one, everybody uses it slightly different. Mm -hmm. Where the original idea came from, of course, it's a principle that was associated with um, 20th century modernism architecture, right? right? Um, and industrial design. And it suggests that the building should primarily relate to its intended function or purpose, right? Right. So aesthetic is actually puts aesthetic after the function of the building, right? right? So what we do is we apply this to the project itself, okay? We prioritize first and foremost the use that it's for mm -hmm. and then build to that. And so what I mean by that is, is if it's something as silly as like a, a trade show retractable banner, yep. okay? You have to treat that differently than a social media post. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes what happens is people create a social media post and they take that and they use it everywhere. They put yeah. it on a banner, they put it on here, right on there. Well, you know what, that that retractable banner doesn't do anybody any good, mm. right? If if the call to action is off, if it's telling people to go to this page, if it's, if it's you know, not informing, if it's so jammed that people walk by it, yeah. right? You always have to think what the intended use is, yes. first and foremost, yeah. and then you build the rest of the design to, around that, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's how we use that. So mm. it's similar to this stage you know, but in industrial design, it's, it's completely, you know, goes to another direction. Yes. But the idea, of course, is that we build for the function first. And then, you know, we play to that, to its strengths, right? right. So if it's a billboard, you know, it's got to be very minimal. Yeah. It's got to be very yeah, impactful, it, right? Yeah. If it's a data sheet, yeah. you know, it's got to be informative. It's got to have all the right bullet points in place, mm -hmm. right? We have to remember what the use is, okay? Yeah. So that's number two, form follows function. Yes. Nice. Number three, design don't reinvent, okay? And I'm a stickler about this one. I mean, again, you know, it's one thing to, you know, like always try to, you know, design something that's cool, that's, you know, be unique, be different. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, you know, you don't have to redesign existing design solutions mm. that people are used to, yes. right? Like, let's face it, 99% of websites have a menu bar at the top. 
people are expecting that menu bar to be at the top. Yep. Yeah, you can try to hide it behind a, a fucking hamburger <laughs> yep. menu at the side. Yep. You can try to get creative and 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 you know do something you know that's that's aesthetically maybe more pleasing. Mm-hmm. But I mean, again, why spend the effort yeah. in a place that people are already expecting something to be? That's right. Go with it and use those design skills elsewhere. Yeah. Okay. So leverage existing design solutions rather than creating something new just for the sake of creating something new, right? Yeah. Focus on innovation where it adds value, okay? Right. Not just to make something, you know, fluffy. Yeah, or different. You're different. I'm going to put it at the bottom because it's different. Because it's different, right? I am going to well, put the menu stuck at the bottom. Okay. Yeah, but, yeah that thing's a, that's a little bit outside the, the box, but... <laughs> but people, everybody goes to the top. The top, they, right? Like, they're going to hate it. Yes, they're going to hate Even that Even as silly as, you know, putting a logo on the right corner um, of a website yeah. Versus the left, it fucks with people's it minds, does. right? That's Most right. people are it's used true. to it yes. being top left. Right? Don't fuck with it. Yeah, you, don't fuck use, with it. Use uh, use your skills elsewhere. <laughs> yes. Okay. Exactly. So again, and that's how. So again, that's that's number three here. Design, right. don't reinvent. Okay. That's great. Tell everybody that. Focus on that. Right. Focus yeah. where it adds value, not where it makes things complicated. Mm-hmm. Number four, be more human. Oh. Okay. So now this is when we get niche. Okay, yes. so um, whether you guys know or not, you know, we are a B2B uh, creative agency that focuses on technology companies. Yes. Okay, B2B technology companies to be specific. Mm-hmm. Okay, technology companies tend to love to go on about their tech. Oh, those engineers. Right? They, they <laughs> love their tech. They go on about their tech. They sell yep. you their tech. Mm-hmm. Oh, our computers are built with this kind of, this kind of, you know, gigahertz, and this, yeah. and, which Just, means nothing to 99% yeah. of the people. Exactly. So what we do is we take, you know, we encourage these tech clients to focus on the human aspect mm-hmm. of what they're building. Who, who cares about the technology behind it? Let's focus on what the technology does for for the end user. Exactly. And that's where, you know, this whole be more human idea comes from. So yeah. very specific to us. And that's where, again, the tenant is a lot different than the principal. Than the principal. Right? Exactly. And what that does is that allows us then, you know, when when some of our tech company customers, right, they're like, no, these guys, I like their style. They don't talk about the stuff that our engineering buddies want. They mm-hmm. talk about what our clients want to hear. Yes. Okay. So yes. we take their technology, these companies, and we make them more human. Okay. Number five. Yep. Look more global. Mm. So this goes right in line with be more human and look more global. That's right. Okay. So what we do again for the look more global aspect is technology companies. Okay. Um, when they when they're new, when they go from startup to you know their mid stage company, mm-hmm. they move really fast. Yes. Okay. They pivot a lot, not based on you know like you know their, their trajectory, but they pivot a lot based on opportunities. Mm. All of a sudden this week, hey, we're going to focus on healthcare because we just got an opportunity in healthcare. Hey, we're now going to focus on dump trucks <laughs> and waste management because we got yeah. an opportunity there. The, yeah. And what happens <laughs> is is their message changes, mm. their presentations change, their logos off change their website changes and there is this inconsistency across all their branded material Mm. okay so what we do with the look more global aspect is we unify all their messaging Uh. we bring it all together we find out all the different touch points we help them realize what their message actually is yeah and then we build on it and when we do that and bring all their pieces together it makes them now not look like a startup but it makes them look like a global company like they got their shit together they got their act together yeah so this is where the be more human, look more global comes from, and that's in our tagline too. Yes. Right? We help, right. you know, B2B technology companies be more human and look more global. Yes. And that's copywritten, nice. just in case any of you fuckers <laughs> want to steal that, okay? <laughs> Number six. Nice try. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Number six. Yeah. Okay. Always tell a story. Okay. I am a huge believer in the fact that the human mind, you know, always tries to put together data points in a logical sequence of orders. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, you know, that logical sequence is is, is often, you know, you find in stories. Okay. Something starts here at A, it goes to B, it goes to C, it goes to D, right? It's a logical sequence of events Mm -hmm. that the mind can connect together and and it'll help with recollection. So we always stress to tell a story, use storytelling to engage and resonate your information to the audience, right? Keeps it in a logical order and it helps them remember everything. It's so much easier to remember. Totally. 
right? So yeah. again, this always goes from do you know your headline, your sub headline, your body copy, your bullet points, your call mm-hmm. to action. You know whatever order you want to put that in, as long as it follows a logical sequence. Yes. Okay. It, it people will understand it. Yep. And they'll remember it. Yes. So huge for us. Okay. Big always time. tell the story. Big time. Number seven. Focus on the benefits, okay? Mm. Huge believer that features don't sell, Mm. benefits do. So what we try to do is we try to find that life-changing benefit for our technology companies, right? And and for their customers. So their technology is going to change their lives in what huge monumental way. That's the benefit that we focus on, and that's the benefit that we try to build the creative material around, okay? That's your hook. That's the hook, right? And we make sure that we then use that hook in their design and the communication we make sure that the design delivers that clear value to its users yeah. okay nice. number eight nice be clear and be bold Ooh. okay this is it factor. <laughs> okay yes this is what we yes. do we always strive to create designs that are impactful mm-hmm. and you know that are straightforward and easy to understand okay yep. so again it's it's this balance of clarity you know with the message you know and then you know doing it in a bold manner to stand out for people right yep. so this is the idea about catch their attention be clear about it but make sure you know you hit them in the face with it right <laughs> so again that's you know i love you know very clean very elegant designs yeah well, that's not so much us yeah you know technically yeah. you know our stuff is very you know in your face it's a little bolder and yep. in our space yes. it's a little different but that's again why people come to us they yes. resonate we're not for everybody and yeah. that's okay because for the ones that do like our look and style and 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 you know our tenants yeah we're perfect for yes, them, right exactly uh number nine always include a cta yes. okay so what a cta does is it guides users towards a desired action of a sort right or an outcome okay we always make sure we include that cta whether it's something as silly as a banner you mm-hmm. know for a trade show mm-hmm. you know whether it's social copy you know um you know whether it's a vehicle wrap okay yeah. we don't want anything to be flat okay we 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 take every single opportunity and turn it into a selling point yes. right and so that goes across the board with everything so we make sure that we make CTAs clear compelling and always drive to some sort of engagement okay yeah. Yeah. so everybody here knows that well what's the CTA going to be what's gonna, it's just, it's just a social post advertising a blog post mm. then there you go then that's it there's the CTA yeah. advertise that blog post drive people to that blog okay yeah, yeah. um and last but not least on the design side five second test ah plain and simple Mm. once everything's all said and done and once they've gone through and checked it you know subconsciously gone through all the tenants okay that we've created does it resonate does do people understand it within five seconds is there immediate comprehension is there that immediate impact right we ensure that we, we we strive hard to make sure that people get it and see it and understand it Five seconds or less, yep. you know? Really, that could almost be three seconds yeah, now. Well, yeah, I mean, it's we're getting in the more, day and age where, yeah. It's, it's getting faster and harder. <laughs> yes. But the reality is, you know, we had this hard set rule that if you had to stop and try to think about it, mm-hmm. you've lost that you, sale. It's gone. Lost that opportunity. Yeah. yeah. Done. Yeah. So those are the 10 design tenants that we put in place in order to help completely streamline everything that we do here, that it yeah. follows all these. The three business process ones, okay, is number 11. Yep. Get shit done. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I and again, yeah. I had a conversation with a customer a couple of days ago and we were talking about an old employee they had and they said, you know what? Great employee, very smart. He was really good at what he did, but he couldn't deliver. Oh. And that's the thing. You could be the best fucking designer in the world. Smart right? as hell. Smart, creative, yep. right? But if you're so much of a perfectionist yep. that you're delayed yeah. or you can't deliver because you're never happy with something. Yeah. You're not worth anything to the customer. No. Nope. Okay. That so no we good. are one hundred percent that we we prioritize on productivity yep. and efficiency. Yes. Okay. Which is why for some of our customers, you know, in a year, last year, I think we got almost seventeen hundred projects done <laughs> for one fucking customer, if you can believe that. So again, you know, we focus on delivering the work and again delivering good quality work yes and always meeting timelines okay yep. Yep. so we make sure that this is a get shit done shop yep. to the point where we had a customer reach out to us because mm-hmm. they're like we're desperate 
we've had this website for two years and we can't get it to launch and we heard that you're the get shit done people. <laughs> oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. That was, <laughs> oh, that's, so that's, that's awesome. huge, yeah. right? That's what you want to be known for <laughs> totally, in your brand, right? Totally. If your customers and clients are going around saying, hey, they get shit done. Call them. Yes, they'll get it this done. This is what you want. Yes. And that is, I love that reputation, oh, dude. big time. Fucking love that's that That's fucking great. Right? It's stressful. It's, <laughs> it can get It's that hard way. sometimes, yeah, yeah, but yeah. yeah, but you get in to a rhythm i would hate and we've talked about this we've talked about other agencies that mm. we've worked with in the past mm. and how they fucking dilly dally and it's just like we're sitting there going dudes why are we talking yeah and why are we taking this another meeting. fucking lunch yeah. or a break yes. or something like that why can't we get this shit done already I'd then we can all go home exactly you Who know the what hell I mean? wants to be working until eight nine ten o'clock this every single exactly night it. oh but you can have coffee break talk yeah, you, you yeah. Know, work life balance there's no work life balance no, there no there's not no. <laughs> you're working 24 7 exactly no, and, no, and no, it's not that. like it's rocket surgery what we're doing here yeah, right. you know what i mean like just get the shit let's done. just get this stuff done you know we all know what we're doing let's 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 go we got a plan in place let's go me nuts right? i know oh, get shit right. done oh. oh get shit done i got that on pillows in some of the in the couches here just for <laughs> the record right. i actually right. have that okay you even nap with that <laughs> with that tenant yeah that was kind of funny right <laughs> napping with that in my, just that, that, that was kind of kind of productive get that shit get done, done. <laughs> all right business process number 12 Okay. Yeah. Close the loop. Ooh. This one. was massive. Yeah. Okay. And this is something that became such an integral part of this company mm. that it was initially hard for people to understand. Like, why why do I have to do that? And it's like, no, your job's not done until 100 percent you close that loop. And what we're saying is you make sure that you complete all aspects of a of a project thoroughly and meticulously. Mm. You finish that project and you don't stop until you know it is 100% complete and making sure nothing's overlooked. Yeah. And what I mean by this is not just to delivery. That's not it. If the client doesn't email you back saying, thanks, I got it. This it's closed. done. Yeah, we're done. closed. I yeah. had poor Mac here. I mean, I'm getting, I think the first time I taught her this and she realized it afterwards, right? She was always stressed because she was, for a little while, she was sending out all the trade show booths. Mm. Okay. But she never followed up that they got there. Oh. Okay. And then she'd all of a sudden get a phone call from the customer. Like, where's a where's trade show it? booth? It's not there. She's like, well, I sent it. Oh. And I was like, Mac, yeah. did you close the loop? Did oh. you make sure it got there? Did you call, right. you know, the trade show? Did you make sure that you had somebody sign? She said, yeah. well, no, I thought my yeah. job was done because I sent it. Right. As far as the customer is yeah, concerned, they, they're there and there's there. no booth. Not right. a good note. It was there. Yeah. It's just it's nobody just could find it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, and again, from that point on, right? She closed she every closed email, <laughs> every ask, and she closed the loop. And yeah. it was her who said that she wanted that as one of the tenants. Yeah. Because she's like, it, it is so, and, and we tell everybody that, yeah. right? Just because you send it out, it doesn't mean it's doesn't complete mean it's yes. until you get confirmation from the customer, yeah. this is good. Thanks. Yes. Yeah. So, and that's why it sucks because on our platform launch list, mm -hmm. if people don't say, yeah, the job's done, thank you, we're constantly nagging them. Is yes. it done yet? Is and it done yet? Is it complete? Yes. And that's kind of a, that's kind of a bit of a drawback to that because you do tend to be kind of naggy. Yeah. Like, uh, hello, and, but you know, you know what's like funny to, though? Yeah, go ahead. Naggy to the wrong people, <laughs> but the right ones in higher up appreciate it. Like that sort of thing. Yes. Right? Exactly. And again, the reason why we do that, which leads to our last business process mm -hmm. tenant, cover your <laughs> ass. Okay, closing the loop <laughs> is making sure that that whole job is complete and finished, yeah. but it also covers your ass. You make sure everything is documented. You make sure nothing is verbal over the phone. You don't take verbal yeah. recommendations, right? Um, you make sure that everything is in writing so you do cover your ass because yeah. unfortunately, you know, graphic designers, you know, are heroes, but we're also villains. Oh, and we're we're the first to be thrown under the bus. Always. Yes. Always, right? Guaranteed. It's shameless. Yes. You know what happens? Well, it must have been the designer. <laughs> it and the it's design. like, well, yeah. you know, I've got an email here that says, and nothing feels better. Yeah. You know, when yeah. they're like, I didn't Vindication. get it. And you're like, hey, yeah. no, no, no. They're like, oh, I didn't get it. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. You oh. know, And they have other people CC'd. <laughs> 
And so you're like, oh, really? And you forward it back and you're like, here, yeah. in case you didn't get it, yeah. you know, here, you know, here's your email. You know, you confirmed yeah. you got it. This was the date. This was the date, right? <laughs> you always make sure that yeah. everything is, you know, all your all your, your T's are crossed, your yep. I's are dotted, and everything is nice and tight, okay? Yes. So yes. cover your ass. And again, it's not that, you know, we're outwardly saying that it's a malicious it's place. A, it's not a sinister thing. No, it exactly. is certainly not. It's, not. it's just, a, just be wary exactly. of these kind of things. And it's just good practice to do this. I agree, stuff. right? Yes. Absolutely. You cover yeah. your ass for that. Yeah, because you want to you want to follow up. Like t- these two together, for sure. You want to close the loop. Because mm-hmm. I don't I, I don't know about you, but like our launch list mm-hmm. is is kind of scary at times because it's like Sometimes I it's just really list. wish people would just say, Hey, yep. you know what? This is good. And I love our clients. Some yep. of our clients do that. Yep. And it's very nice. But it's just like it, it makes me feel better when I can say, look, this is done. Archive. Away. Archive. Done. Away it goes. Moved on. Yes, exactly, exactly. Right. So again, very important. So the three yeah. business processes that we have here that we embrace as part of our tenants, tenant tenants are get shit done, close the loop and cover your ass. <laughs> so what this has done is it, it, it literally gave us a clear framework to use as like a guidepost. Just be like, wait, yeah. you know, design question. Well, check the tenants, you know, is it clear? Is it bold? Will they understand it in under five seconds? Right. It's just like, it's no brainer. It's like, no, I can do better. No, we can tighten that up. No, that story is a mess. Right. Mm. And what that did is that that started becoming such a part of our culture, our belief that, you know, we were incorporating it in presentations. Mm -hmm. Customers knew it again. You know, somebody reached out to us because we were the get shit done agency. That's right. right. And again, this was, they became, you know, our culture core beliefs are mm-hmm. how we went about business that I don't know if I can need a mission statement to tell me that I am going to be a get shit done company. I just have to put it out there that we are a get shit done company, right? Yes. I don't have to worry about that vision and mission and fuck, that stuff is so tiring. Honestly, if yeah, it, honestly, if you came to me and you were using the word zeitgeist, zeitgeist. I, I would fucking be like, did you fall on your head? Yeah, right. <laughs> what? <laughs> And that's, you know, the problem was every time you'd meet up a business coach and they're always, oh, you need this mission you statement. You need this. It's, it was always superfluous bullshit. It is. That meant nothing. And you weren't connected to it. No, it doesn't make any sense. Not at all. These tenants were who we were, how yeah. we went about things, right? Yes. How we could talk about these to a customer and customers appreciated everything we had to say. And they would hang on it because they're like, holy shit, these guys have got a system. Yeah. These guys have got a thing yeah. that makes them who they are. And yes. time and time again, it again, it just eliminated all of our competitors because yes. they were like, yeah, we do designs. Yeah. It's like, well, no, no, no. We do a hell of a lot more than designs. <laughs> we do. Do, yes. Let me yeah. tell you, you know, about what we do. Yeah, yeah. And again, and it's just, you know, we would use them in presentations on our website, mm-hmm. the way we spoke, and customers got it yep. instantly. Yep. So this was the biggest thing. And like I said, in a short amount of time, we did, you know, we transformed more than we did in like, you know, two thirds of the time of our existence at mm-hmm. that point. Yeah. So everything, everything in my opinion that, you know, we've come out from we came from these. Yep. Totally. So, yeah. so how? Do you go about this? Yeah. Okay. Well, let me sell you my course on how to do this, okay? <laughs> it's Tony Robbins, everybody. Put your hands together. <laughs> I can tell you, but better yet, you pay me this much and I will show you. Come into a town near you. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I believe in these so much, okay? And and again, it's like, but where do you start? What sense does it make, right? Yeah. And and I tried to break it down as quick as possible, right? So, you know, first and foremost, um, step number one. So again, eight steps, eight steps. Eight steps. That's all, that's all it is. It's yeah. really simple. The way I see it, maybe it's more, maybe it's less. The way I see it, you know, number one, you reflect on your core values. Yeah. Okay? And by core values... Think about your experiences, what you went through, okay? What means most to you in the work that you do, your attitude, your beliefs about customers, your beliefs in design, right? Mm. Like, like first reflect on on who you are and your attitude towards everything. Because that changes, that's yeah. everything. Yeah. All of these tenants, a lot of the big, bold stuff, you know, was very much, and, you know, not to sound that, you know, like a narcissist, mm-hmm. but it was very much my belief, and it was what I pushed on to our team. Yes. Okay? So, again, first and foremost, stick to your, you know, your core beliefs. If, if it's the common practice that you believe in, that's okay. Yeah. Own it. If it's a unique way that you go about it, 
own it. It yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah. And it's kind of your personality, too. You're big and bold. I, you know yeah, I mean? right? Like, I, I think that kind of reflects yeah. a little bit. Yeah, that, you could that, be onto yeah, that one. You, yeah, yeah, right? you, There is something about what you are that you put into this Absolutely. kind of thing, right? Yeah. So, so mm. yeah, I think that's big and bold is good. Yes. So that's number one. Number yeah. two, okay, analyze past successes mm. okay and this is huge because again the then these tenants are actually they're they're real they become real right you look at the past projects that rocked right that rocked for you that you enjoyed and you try to find the common themes or principles that contributed to their success yes. what did you do that worked okay yeah. what did you do that didn't work that yes. you never want to do again okay right. and hone in on those right and, and and focus in on those you know moving forward be like, yeah, that worked. The yeah. customer liked it. It yeah. got results. It was good. I want to keep that. Right. Okay. My system. Yeah. Number three, make the tenants actionable. Okay. Mm. Big difference versus bullshit vision statements right. and, and even high level principles or values about, right. oh, you know, we're going to be ethical in our decision. No, 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 no. <laughs> make these actionable items. They should guide decisions because that's what makes a tenant different yes. than a principal okay it should guide right. a decision it should it should guide a behavior rather than just being some sort of abstract concept mm -hmm. that you're putting out there yes. to to be part of the world yes. part of the universe yeah great that's fine but then it's not a tenant exactly okay yeah. make it actionable okay yeah number four keep them simple yes yes Add, like don't worry about these crazy ass, you know, mission statements like we were talking about yep. before, right? These should be simple, easy to explain, easy to understand, and easy to remember. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's key. You know, you don't have to get too in depth with these. You don't. The the, the, the longer they are, the harder it's going to be to just remember mm, all this exactly, shit, right? Exactly. Keep them simple, damn it. Yeah. Um, number five. Once you've got it in place, embed it into your company culture. Yeah. Okay. And again, that's huge. This goes everything from how you go about design to your hiring process to ah. your training process, right? Mm. Everybody that we hire on, I go and we, and we have a, I talk them through every one of the tenants. <laughs> this is what we believe. This is why we believe. And yeah. I make sure they understand that shit. Yep. If they gloss over, yeah. you know, okay, like, there's a problem. Yeah. If, if after the first week or two, they're, they're not referring to these as mm. part of the system and how we go about doing things. Yes. Dude, we got a problem. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Make it part of your core culture so that it's like, it's something that everybody knows. And I, sometimes I've, I've even asked people, I've like, well, did it pass the five second test? And they roll their eyes and they're like, no, you're <laughs> Right, I didn't check. I didn't think about that. Right. Yes. Next time they came back, they did think about it. Yeah. Right. So yeah. again, and it would have answered that question for them, so they didn't have to, you know, ask you or ask me or mm -hmm. ask somebody else, you know, for their opinion on a specific part. Yeah. So embed it into your company culture. Yeah. Make it a decision making framework. Okay. And what I mean by this is this should help you be able to make business decisions, design decisions, right? So again, make sure that they're just not these these high lofty, you know, words, um, you know, or phrases, but that they should be able to be yes or no yes. against it, okay? Right. That's the whole point, that this, this is, you know, if you've got a choice, you should be able to refer to one of these tenants to help answer that choice, yeah. okay? Be clear, be bold, yeah. you know? Is it, is yeah. there a story? Yeah. Can somebody get this in five seconds or left? You know, is, does this make them more human? Yes. Okay. Yes. So again, these should be decision-making goalposts that you try to create, you know, yeah. for or against. Nice. Number seven, client alignment. Mm. Okay. So what I mean by this is now that you have these tenants in place, Okay, what you do is you take it out and you start choosing projects and clients that align with these tenants. Right. I keep saying tenant. It's tenant. 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 Yeah, the tenant. Okay. <laughs> like seriously, you want to find, you know, you want to find um, cu customers, you know, like-minded yes, clients. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Okay? That believe in this system, yes. that believe in, in, in your, you know, your, what you're outlining to them. Right. Yeah. And what that does is that starts building the kind of portfolio of work that you want want. Yes. Okay. And again, all of our customers, you know, are customers that we chose, mm -hmm. right? We didn't just land on them and take them because of their money. We were like, yeah. no, no, no. You like the way we go about it. Yes. I think we could do some amazing things for your company. Yes. And it's just, it works. It jives. And again, we keep these customers for ridiculous amount of years. This is true. So again, you know, make sure you can use this to align your clients to create the portfolio and the kind of work that you want. Want. Yes. Okay. And number eight, more than anything, 
communication. Okay. Uh, like Make the, sure yeah. you clearly communicate your tenants with your clients, mm-hmm. with your team. Make them visible in your marketing material. Put them in presentations. presentations. I have used our skateboards, mm-hmm. as odd as it is, in customer presentations, right? <laughs> is it clear? Is it bold? Yeah. Right. And it's like, here's the objective. Here's yeah. our tenant. Here's our objective. Yeah. This is our belief. This is, and again, customers appreciate that. Yeah. And what's even crazier is when they start giving them back to you. <laughs> Then you're just like, wow, I've done something yeah. totally right here, okay? Yeah, a client comes to you and says, I've tried the five-second rule, and it doesn't really work. You're like, ooh. ooh I know, right? It's, and, and it's true. It just blows you away, right? But what ultimately yeah. that does is that elevates you as that expert. Big time. And this, by doing this, we created the kind of agency that we have. We created that kind of, you know, the clientele that we that we wanted, mm-hmm. okay? And it's our energy, our vibe, everything about this place yep. is based on these tenants. So yep. they are like the core foundation foundation of you know like you know of, of z factor yeah and this is what propelled us so you know so to create your own number one reflect on your core values number two analyze past successes number three make them actionable number four keep them simple number five embed them in your company culture mm-hmm. number six make them part of a decision making framework number seven make sure they align with your clients or your clients align yeah. with your tenants yeah. actually yes and last but not least just communicate the hell out of this That's thing right. okay this should be at the forefront of every client relationship all your marketing material this should be and, and you don't have to be an agency to follow this mm-hmm. but this is a framework that basically defines who you are you know what you believe and the kind of customers you want to look for yeah so it's funny because you know i never realized how important these were to me and to what we've created here um but you know going back if we had to start i wish i would have created up came up with these within the first three to five years they can they would probably have changed and i was just gonna say it's it's a natural evolution and 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 i'm gonna uh, and who knows at year 30 Mm -hmm. maybe there'll be a new one Mm mm-hmm do you know what I mean? Like there could be something that that's well. The gets funny added thing is, this. you know, they started as just design, right? Right, and then of course Mac was like, no, nope, with you the know new what? ones. Then we added yes. get shit done, yes, right, because that was that was like what we embodied and what we believed. Yes. And then it was well, then shit, make sure we're always closing the loop. And so the business ones added to it. Yeah. So there's no question that this is going to keep growing, it right? Will. Yes. As the space grows, as you know, a technology grows, so will our tenants, right? Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. exactly. But these helped, you know, make things so much more clear they helped you know identify just it it made that direction yeah. of where we were going finally visible yes and i think that that's what all entrepreneurs struggle with they're like yeah i've got work yeah they're customers they pay the bills this that but you really don't have a vision a direction right this helped identify all of that yeah yeah so what's that stupid uh business's fail to plan or they plan to fail or something oh yeah like that. he, he fails to plan yeah. plans to fail yeah exactly some yeah, shit right? like that yeah well and it's like you know em- embrace this because yeah. you're right you're absolutely right with this if you don't yeah you, you really should have kind of some of these tenants in place for sure agreed 100 yeah. percent. because yeah. really they are very helpful they and, in, and and i like that they're bite-sized too you know what i mean exactly like, that's the best part it's yeah. not a mouthful you don't have to think well you well, know why sean why? because they're be clear be bold. Yeah, they follow that tenant. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Everything is like literally on the skateboards. There are three lines yes, or less. Yes, they are. They three are. lines or exactly. less. Exactly. And there's some awesome visual rep- rep- representation on that too. I like the I like the kid on the bike with the square. Oh, with the square <laughs> tire. <laughs> it's like yeah, the design. Yeah. Don't reinvent. Exactly. Who the hell would like, do this? <laughs> if if you don't have time to read that, yeah. you can see the visual <laughs> that, the- that, that that illustrates that clearly. <laughs> You know what? We'll, we'll we'll put these on the website. Yeah, Maybe we'll share these there. on Instagram. I'm sure really we should, good. right? Yes, yes. They're kind of fun. Yeah. And again, and it's shocking that we, you know, we show these to customers and we don't care. Yeah. Customers love them, even yeah. though they're completely outrageous. Yeah, you know, so <laughs> got some skate culture there. Yeah, a little and, bit of the Jetsons, and, and that's the thing. It it combines your your love of skateboarding and that and totally, that, and that right? kind of culture yeah, too, right? It did so bring it, that in. so it does have. You know, a bit of that, your 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 personality reflected who back we into are. It. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, this is this is great. This stuff is awesome. It, it this is stuff Super that made helpful. a difference for us, and I hope that it can make a difference for other people. Yeah. Really, whether yeah. you're a freelancer or whether you're a small agency or a big agency. Yeah, you know, put these out there. You know, once you put them out there, once you you put them, make them visual. You yep. know, and you start believing them, and everybody starts rallying around them, and yep. it 
makes a difference. Absolutely. You know, I'm sure there's other ways to do this. I'm sure you could do corporate company retreats. I'm sure you could have a lot more team sessions. And maybe, maybe. But for us, these just seem to have um, hit at the right time. They clarified everything, you know. And again, I always struggled with mission and vision and... Oh, oh my I just God. That, that's just noise. Yeah, it you is just I mean? noise. It, 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 is. Yeah, it is. If I hear another fucking business coach tell me how you need a mission statement, <laughs> that's don't. the first thing you gotta do is build a business plan and find out a mission yeah. statement. Get the fuck out. I've been here for twenty five plus years. Yeah. Fuck you. I think yeah. I'm fine. I think we're good. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that adds. I, I, I got a value to us. <laughs> Thanks, champ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Well, I yeah. hope that you guys could find some stuff out of this. This worked for us, and if this idea or or, or, or this you know clarification, this this clearing of the fog can work for you, you know, awesome. If not, I hope we entertained you yeah. for today. Yeah. Ultimately, <laughs> these are good. These are good. Oh, just a great example of what you've done. Of uh, uh, just yeah, yeah, what worked. What what, what worked, worked for sure exactly. for us anyway. Yes. And yes. while it might not be for everybody, it yeah. definitely will work for a lot of people. Yes. So let us know if you guys have tenants to share. If you guys guys um instead of following tenants have an ethos or principles or want to you know and embrace something else that's all cool yep. again tenants tend to be very niche and specific which is why they worked exactly for us our agency and our style yes so share your story with us on instagram hit us up on their website please by all means we love reviews and mm-hmm. you know our um our the algorithm just likes to kick it up and a notch or two if you leave us a, a kind word or two so please um you know what in that case it doesn't even have to be kind you know <laughs> rip it to us. That's fine. Just make sure it's a five star. That's all I care. <laughs> And, uh, and yeah, you know what? We got some exciting stuff coming up in the near future. Um, we've got some guests for Creative South that we're going to be showing up on the show. Um, and we will be down there live Ooh. doing, um, you know, a show or two. Might be recorded, might be live, but I don't know. We'll, we're yet yeah. to see. But we are going to be down there recording live. Nice. So um, join us if you're down in the area. Yeah. Yes. All right. Yes. All right, everybody. With that being said, my name is Massimo. My name is Sean. Stay creative. And stay angry. Peace. Yeah.